Blogging is a popular way for people to share their thoughts and ideas with the world. While blogs originally started in the 1990s as something called weblogs, they grew in prominence over the next two decades as it became easier to edit, to add multimedia, and to leave comments. So how does a blog work? Well, a blog can be broken down into a series of blog posts. Most bloggers create new posts on a regular schedule, and that's either daily, weekly, or monthly. Blog posts go in a reverse chronological order with the newest posts at the top of the feed and the older posts at the bottom. Most blog posts have a compelling title that is capitalized. They often have shorter paragraphs and even bulleted points or lists. Many bloggers break down information using headings and they also include visuals or videos. They tend to use tags or categories that connect to other posts and that helps keep things organized. Unlike a journal which you write for yourself or an essay that you typically send to just your teacher, a blog is a platform for sharing your voice with a larger audience. So where do you start as a new blogger? A great first step is to spend some time exploring other blogs. It might be a fashion blog, a foodie blog, a gamer blog, a hobby blog, a movie blog, a music blog, a sports blog, you get the idea. Just spend some time exploring those blogs and ask yourself what are they doing well and where could they improve? From there, you will figure out your overall topic for your blog. What interests you? What do you geek out on? What expertise do you have? What questions do you want to answer? Next, you'll determine your blogging approach. Some bloggers write personal reflections and engage in storytelling. Others advocate for things that they care deeply about. Still others love to share ideas. Or you might give practical help and show people how to do things. You'll also want to determine your audience. Who are they? What do they like? What do they want to know? And right here, it can help to think through the layers of privacy inherent in publishing. Level one is where you keep your posts private. It's no different than a journal. Level two is where you share it with a small group, including your teacher, a classmate, and your family. Level three is where you share it with your whole class or even the whole school. And level four is where you share your work with the whole world. Next, you'll want to actually create your blog. Some people use their names, but others choose to have a title like you would for a, a book or a newspaper. You might also use a theme and a visual aesthetic that you develop. Then start blogging. In this early stage, you might take some time to jot down ideas for your blog posts. You might want to start with a list of questions that you can answer or ideas that you have. Consider doing a listicle using the prompts seven fascinating facts about blank. Or you might do a how-to post with step-by-step -step directions for blank. Or you might come up with a few Q&A ideas. You might also need to set up some norms for yourself regarding what you will do and what you won't do as a blogger. And finally, you're going to want to engage your audience by responding to comments. Remember though that it's an experiment. Some blog posts will work and some others are going to fail, but that's okay. What's important is that you're sharing your voice to the world.